Hello and welcome to PointWise. This brief video is your guide to installing both PointWise and the FlexNet License Manager on one computer. There are other types of setups that you can have, but this one is a simple installation on one computer. So, let's begin. There are three basic steps to running PointWise on your computer. The first is to install the FlexNet License Manager. The second is to obtain a valid license file and import it into the FlexNet License Manager. The last step is to install PointWise itself. So, let's get started on step one, installing the FlexNet License Manager. The easiest way to get the FlexNet License Manager software is to download it from our website. Launch your preferred web browser and type in the address www.pointwise.com. Com. In the upper left, you will see a support link. Hover over that and then click on Download Pointwise. You should see the webpage for the Pointwise Quick Start Guide. We will be going through this step by step. You are accomplishing step one by watching this video, but let us continue on to step three, where you would download the FlexNet License Manager. The computer that I am on is using a 64-bit version of Microsoft Windows, so I will download that version. For your computer, which may be different, locate the appropriate platform that matches your computer system. Now click on the download link. Press the Save button. The file is only about 24 megabytes, so it shouldn't take too long to download. Once it is complete, push the Open Folder button. Before we install the FlexNet License Manager, I'd like to share some information that will prevent some possible problems, so please listen closely. If you're using Microsoft Windows, then you must have the admin privileges to install the FlexNet License Manager. On the other hand, if you're using either Linux or Mac, then you must not use the root account. If you ignore these requirements, the License Manager probably won't work. Now, if you do not know what I'm talking about with regard to root or admin privileges, please contact your system administrator. To execute the file, double-click on the file name. Push Run. Now wait while the files extract. Push Next. Read through the license agreement carefully. If you agree to the terms of the license, then select the option labeled I accept the agreement, and then push Next. This is the default location where the software will be installed. Push Next. Push Next. Now wait while the files are extracted again and installed. Make sure that the Configure Service checkbox is checked. Press Next. The default web management port is 8080. Make sure the Start Service checkbox is checked. Push Next. When you push this Finish button, the FlexNet license server will start running in the background. This will allow you to view the FlexNet License Manager interface in your web browser. Normally, you would have to manually type in the address, but by pressing Finish here, the FlexNet Manager interface will be launched automatically. And here is the interface. One note of caution. The FlexNet License Server starts up automatically after every reboot on computers running Microsoft Windows. For Linux and Macs, you must manually start the server after every reboot. Please see the FlexNet documentation for instructions on how to do that. Our next step is to request a valid license file for PointWise and import it into the FlexNet License Manager. This will require two pieces of information. The first is the host name. This is often the name of your server or your computer. The second piece of information is the host ID. This is also known as the MAC address or Ethernet address. Please note that this is not the IP address. You could get this information by using commands in a terminal or a DOS command prompt, but our new browser-based FlexNet License Manager interface is common to all operating systems, so that is the method that I will use. Let's go back to our browser where the FlexNet License Manager is being displayed. You can see that there are no concurrent licenses loaded. In order to get the host name and host ID, we will click on the administration link in the top right. Whenever you click on that link, you will be prompted for a username and a password. The default value for both of these 
is the term admin. Use this for both, then press submit. If this is your first time through this, it will ask you for a new password. Please pay attention to this new password because if you forget it, there is no simple way to retrieve it. You may have to uninstall and reinstall the FlexNet License Manager software. Press Save. Press OK. Now you should see a list of computer and network information. In this case, the host name is Plato. Now one thing you may notice is that host ID is not written anywhere explicitly on this page. In this case, we're going to use the Ethernet address for host ID. They are synonymous. To request the license file, we need to go back to the PointWise website. Under the support link, select Request a License. This license request page requires some information about both you and your computer. First, type in your name. Then, type in your email. And then there is a spot for you to type in your customer ID. Every registered user of PointWise has a unique identifier called the customer ID. If you have an established relationship with PointWise, then you can find this value in your old license file. If you are a new user, then you can find this in your email correspondence with our company. In this case, I will use the fictitious customer ID PWI-55-55. Then choose your role. I'm a user. What is your reason for this license? I'm a new customer. If you are an established customer, you have the option of having us reuse your old existing server information to generate your license. If that is the case, click on the Yes option here. Otherwise, if you are generating a new license as a new user, make sure that No is selected. Then select your hardware platform. In this case, it's a Windows 64. Operating system is Windows 7. And now for the host name. For this, we go back to the FlexNet License Administrator page, and we select the host name, and we copy it. Let's go ahead and do that. Now we go back to the License Generation page. We click in the box that says Host Names, and we paste our host name there. And now we move on to the host ID. We go back to the administration page, and notice that there is no host ID stated here explicitly, but we are using the Ethernet address. It is synonymous with host ID. Copy and paste it. And go back to the license generation page, click in the box next to host ID, and paste it in there. Finally, at the bottom of the license request page, there is a little test. This determines if you are a human or a robot. Think of it as a miniature Turing test. I think I can read this one. Push send. All right, so apparently that worked. Depending on the time of day, I should receive an email that contains my license information. Now, to save time for this demonstration, I have already generated a license ahead of time. All we have to do now to complete our server setup is to import the new license file. So let's go back to the FlexNet license administration page in our browser. There are several tabs along the left side of this page. Click on the bottom tab that is labeled Vendor Daemon Configuration. This is where we will import our new license file. Click on the Import License button. Push the Browse button. Select your license file, pointwise flexnet.lic. Push the Open button. You probably do not have to check the Overwrite License File on License Server checkbox. In my case, I do. Now push the Import License button. 
It was successful. Push OK. The PWID status is now up, which is a good sign. We are now finished with installing the FlexNet License Manager and, more importantly, running the PointWise vendor daemon. Now with that done, the final step is to download the PointWise software and install it, and we can do that right from the website. So let's go back to the PointWise website. Select Support. Choose Download PointWise. Let's scroll down to Step 6, Download PointWise. I'm using a 64-bit version of Windows, so let's select that link. Push Save. Now wait for the file to download. Push Open Folder. Double-click on the PointWise installation executable. Push Run. Now wait for the files to extract. Now is your chance to read the terms of the user license in detail. If you accept the terms, push the I accept the agreement option. Now push Next. Push Next. Now wait for the files to extract and install. On this final step of the installation, you are asked whether or not you want the PointWise License Tools utility to run after pushing the Finish button. If you leave the box checked, this will open up a new window that will allow you to specify the name of your server. The advantage of this is that when you run PointWise, it will know exactly where to look to find your active license. Let's go ahead and do this. Push Finish. This is the PointWise FlexNet Tools Utility window. On the top are two tabs labeled Server Status and Server Path. Please click on the tab named Server Path. As we have discussed previously, the name of my server, in this case, is also the name of my computer. Your situation may be different. In my case, the name is Plato. When typing in the name of your server, first use the at symbol and then type in the name. For example, I'm going to type in at Plato. Now push the button labeled Override Server Path. We're done with this window. You can close the window by either pushing the X in the upper right or choosing File Exit. Installation is now complete. All you have to do to run PointWise is double click on the desktop icon. And there you have it. PointWise is now installed on this computer. Thank you for watching the Quick Start Guide.